Today we're going to be taking a look at the best trailer hitches available for the 2013 Ford Escape. Here from eTrailer we have part number E98866. This is a class 3 hitch. It's going to be just like our other hitches. From Kurt here we have C13186 and then finally from draw type part number 75758. Now during the video we're going to go through and tell you the strengths and weaknesses of each of the hitches and try to help you figure out which one's going to be the best for your application. Basically when it comes to ease of installation, the easiest one of these hitches to get on your vehicle is definitely going to be the draw type part number 75758. This doesn't require a lot of exhaust lowering, you're going to have two attachment points on the side, definitely easier than the Kurt or the e-trailer which do require you to drop the exhaust and you've got three fish wire bolts you have to put in on each side whereas with the draw type we've got two on each side so this one's going to be your easiest to get on your vehicle now in my opinion the cleanest looking hitches are going to be one of the more difficult ones to install both the Kurt here that has the gloss finish and the e-trailer that has the matte finish are going to remain mainly hidden behind your fascia. You're really only going to see the receiver tube opening of the hitches, not really anything else. You know, your safety chain connection points, of course, are going to be visible. But the cross tube area on both of them is going to be hidden up and behind the fascia. So if you want one that's not going to change the looks of your vehicle very much, one of these are going to be your better option there. In my mind, for the recreational use of your cargo carriers, your bike racks, I like the draw tight hitch that we have here in the bottom. It has a higher weight rating and a higher tongue weight rating. So you're not going to have as much flex if you get larger bike racks and things like that installed. And for towing, again, with the higher weight rating, the draw tight's probably going to be the way to go. Now, the Kurt and the e-trailer are rated for right up to what the Escape is rated for as far as tongue weight rating and as far as gross trailer weight rating. So these would also be very good for both of those things. Just with the higher weight rating, that draw tight is going to be a little bit stiffer of a hitch. So with the e-trailer hitch and with the Kurt hitch, they both offer a 350 pound tongue weight rating. That's the maximum downward force we can put here at our receiver tube opening. With the draw tight, it's 675 pounds. So we've got a higher tongue weight rating with this hitch. As far as gross trailer weight ratings are concerned, or the weight of your trailer and anything that you might load up on it, the e-trailer and the Kurt are 3,500 pounds. The draw tight is going to be at 4,500 pounds. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this draw tight hitch, it is exceeding your manufacturer's recommendation. So check your owner's manual, see what it's rated for, and you don't want to exceed that. All of our hitches are rated for use with weight distribution too. The e-trailer and Kurt are going to have a 500 pound tongue weight rating, 5,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. Whereas with the draw tight, we're going to keep the same 675 pound tongue weight rating and it's going to go to a 5,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. Now with these all being class 3 hitches, they're going to have the 5 8 diameter pinhole here. The e-trailer and Kurt have a single pinhole, but you'll see there's plenty of room around there. So whether you're just going to use a standard pin and clip, a locking hitch pin or anti-rail device, there's plenty of room to get that secured. On the draw tight, you'll notice it has two pinholes. We've got our 5 8 diameter pinhole here and our little bit smaller pinhole located a little closer to the rear of the vehicle. This is for use with the J-Pin stabilization system. That's another form of anti-rattle device that goes in and there's just a pin that kind of pushes over on the item you have installed. So it's also able to work with just about any type of accessory. Now another thing that lends itself to towing with the draw tight hitch is the tab that's been welded on right here. It has three pre-drilled holes that will allow you to attach maybe a seven pole or a four pole to it to make the connection to your trailer. One thing you do want to keep in mind though, typically the wiring on the Escape is going to be in the back of the vehicle. So you'll have to bring it down through a grommet to get it attached. Now with the e-trailer hitch, you notice it's got more of the carbide finish to it. It's more of a kind of a matte powder coat finish. It seems to be very, very resilient. We've bumped them up against each other. They've kind of scraped on each other. And you don't see any deterioration of the coating here on the e-trailer hitch. The Kurt and the draw tight both have more of a gloss finish to them. This finish tends, since it is more of that glossy look, tends to show scrapes and scratches a little bit more. So for finish quality, I definitely like the e-trailer hitch. 
Now, when it comes down to it, and in my opinion, the hitch I would pick would be either the e-trailer or the Kurt, depending on which finish you liked better. I like the e-trailer finish more. Maybe a little bit of a biased opinion, but I like that carbide look. The reason I say that, even though the draw tight does have its strengths, our receiver tube openings on all the hitches are gonna be about the same. But look at the draw tight as the cross tube comes over. This drops down and below your exhaust. So your exhaust comes out right here. We're gonna have all this hanging down below it. It's gonna be on both sides. I don't like the way that looks dropping down and below the exhaust, but also it lowers our clearances. These are gonna be much closer to the ground with either of these. So while these do require a little bit more work to get them in place, I think they look nicer and they give us the most clearance. It's gonna be the best looking hitch on your Escape. And that's gonna complete our look at the best trailer hitches available for the Ford Escape.